Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. Hi guys, how are you? So this is going to be a reading for the Earth signs. So if you could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, you could have that Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or you could be a cross-watcher for any of those placements. Um, if you don't know your placements, you can get a free natal chart done for you on... Um, online you just type in through Google like free natal chart there's quite a few of them out there um, so Kristen has sent me a new deck it's called precious gems Oracle this is actually another newly released deck and she thought I would enjoy it and I actually love it it's beautiful so thank you very much Kristen we're gonna use this tonight to get some overall energy for those who are either an earth sign or dealing with an earth sign um, and then there will be an extended version if you want to go deeper into it so I have successful love coming through right off the bat, and good fortune is on the bottom here, and I'm noticing 12 and 2. So you may have um, like 212 showing up, 1222, um, 222, all of those numbers could be showing up for you. Look at that on the bottom is 20, Moonstone Rhythms. So there could be some sort of new rhythm coming into your life at this time in regards to good fortune, abundance, love, transformation. Um, you could be attracting some sort of communication your way too. So we have communication number four. There could be a found foundation that's going to be opening up. Some sort of clarity and compromise could be coming about within your connection. Uh, we have number five, which is about change. So the foundation of your connection could be changing. You guys could be deciding to compromise. There could, could be some sort of clarity surrounding this. And you may have the potential for a successful love to happen within the next you know few weeks. So I, I try to intend that my readings are timeless, um, but you know if you're tuning into this for June, this is what you can expect for June, but if you're tuning into this at another time, you can feel that maybe this is for that point in your life, you know, the next few weeks over that point. So we also have yin and yang coming out, so I do think that there's a balance happening. Um, and for those of you that have been dealing with like addictions or if this person that you were dealing with had that, there could be some sobriety coming about, some sort of transformation within that, or just like releasing something that's that's kept you from feeling, you know, balanced and, and able to have good within your connections, within love. So what I'm going to do is find out like what they're thinking, what they're feeling, how they view you, what type of blockage there may be. And then in the extended, we're going to go deeper into all of that. So what are they thinking about with you at this time? I've got the sun. So when when I see this card, immediately there's inner child energy that comes out. Look at that. we got the fool and the ace of swords with the ace of pentacles on the bottom. I feel like the inner child in the both of you needs to come out and play. There's some sort of clarity that may need to be, you know, achieved too. And that could be to do with all of this energy, you know, with the... Um, like the new communication, uh, working together and, and having like that, that ability to work together to compromise with each other. You may need to tap back into your inner child to release the ego part of ourselves. You know, think about kids. Get mad at each other and then you're over it within five minutes and you're happy again and you're, you're joyful. So the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So when they think about you, it's like they want to have happiness. They want to feel that joy of that inner child again. They want to have fun. They want to take that leap of faith. They may want to communicate with you and have some sort of new beginning within your connection. The moon is telling you that there's a secret, though. So I feel like part of their secret is th these feelings. They may be trying to keep this secret from you, not letting you know that they feel this way. I do see the king of cups here. So the king of cups can have insecurities, and the moon can represent insecurities. The king of cups can also be somebody that drinks. So there could be, you know... Um, some sort of secret around that or they could be coming into a sobriety where they're letting go of anything like that they don't want that influencing them anymore so that they can have balance within the connection with you the next one is the four of wands so they could be thinking of communicating with you to have some sort of union yeah look we got the ace of cups so there's very positive energy coming through here within this connection there it is again it just fell off four of wands so a new beginning within love and um, a commit a commitment, you know, Four of Wands is Twin Flame 11-11 Union, but it's also a card of marriage, it's a card of commitment, it's a card of, of just, you know, good energy. So they are thinking of things within um, a positive light when it comes to you. And with the Page of Swords, they could be thinking about communicating with you, maybe they want to message you. Um, they're, they're being patient and more balanced. There's definitely an energy of balance happening here. 
They could see you in, in your light as well. They could be looking at you, seeing you as the star. They could be wishing to communicate with you or wishing to have balance with you, wishing to be able to send the message that they've been thinking about sending. So there's there's a definite energy here of, of you know, wanting to have a new beginning. Um, the Ace of Cups can also be, be like new love. So you could have somebody new that's coming in that's going to bring about this happiness within you or bring about that inner child, somebody that's been like wishing for you, maybe somebody that's been watching you from afar. Maybe you have somebody that's kind of like checking up on you through social media or um, like a dating site or something. There could be somebody that's been like kind of wanting to just like explore this energy with you, somebody that's balanced and ready to commit, you know, this new love, somebody that wants to be a boyfriend, you know, King of Cups is somebody that wants to be a boyfriend. So that could be a secret too. There could be somebody that's been like in the shadows watching and waiting for an opportunity to connect with you in that way, seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles, which is the earth signs. So um, if you are an earth sign, that would make sense that they're seeing you in that energy. For more majority of you, though, I feel like this is somebody that has been beaten up and doesn't want to give up on your connection. Somebody that wants to reconcile with you with that Six of Cups energy. That's reconciliation. And again, inner child energy, um, past life energy. So working with your inner child, working with your past lives is going to help to bring balance to this connection. And it may help to bring this, this you know soulmate, twin flame type of energy back into fruition out of the hangman stagnancy. I feel like this person is now seeing things from a different perspective and they may be willing to fight for this connection, waiting and watching for the right opportunity to do so. So let's see what they feel towards you at this time. I've got the chariot. So this person, um, they may want to rush in, but they may not know exactly how to do so because the chariot can be somebody that's like really rushing fast, but they don't think it all the way through. And so they're like a little clumsy with it, but I do feel their feelings for you are growing rapidly. Okay. So things are growing stronger and stronger for this person every day. Uh, they feel like they could have justice with you, balance with you. So there's definitely been some sort of shift within this. I feel like there's a lot of passion. It's funny. I just looked over at the other deck and then I had the King of Wands come out. So this person has a lot of passion for you. They may be, you know, desiring you sexually at this time. Um, they could be married or they could be thinking about leaving behind another contract that they've been dealing with so that they can go after what they're truly passionate for. Um, feeling like there's some sort of illusions, um, daydreaming, thinking about this. Um, not seeing everything fully, and that could be why that chariot energy is here. It's like they want to rush in. They're just not seeing clearly how to do it. Or they could, you know, think about it, but then they may get scared and think, oh, if I say that, that's going to be wrong. Or if I do this, they may not hear me. I'll, I feel like there's been something in the past that hasn't been great. And with this energy, it's like they're afraid. If I don't, you know, if I don't choose the right cup, they're not going to receive me well. They may cut me out. They may say no. So they're afraid of what you're going to say to them. Um, they're afraid of rejection. Four of Cups is, you know, that card of rejection, um, missing our opportunity. And I feel like this person's basically missing a lot of opportunities by being in that energy, but it's, it's coming from a place of fear, but there is a potential for a death and transformation. So at least they're realizing that the way that they've been approaching this in the past probably hasn't been the best. Two of Swords is somebody that was wearing a blindfold with their decision-making, and I feel like they're still kind of doing that now, but they're aware of like that fact that they can't just do what they've done before or they will be left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you've withdrawn your love in some ways and this person's, you know, um, afraid to make an offer. They're afraid that you may not, like she's got her back turned to him. So you're in your Empress energy, like you're ready to receive love, you're ready for balanced love. And this person may be intimidated by that. You know, they know that if they're going to, you know, communicate to you, they got to bring truth and integrity. King of Swords is the only person that can communicate with the Queen of Swords and, and be successful within it. So that could be, for, you know, bringing about those fears and that intimidation. And again, a lot of burdens, but they do see the value um, of you. Somebody that's loyal, committed, wants to, you know, give this higher font type, a higher level connection to somebody. You know, you're like, you're the yin to their yang. This is something that's been destined or written before you came into this lifetime, and they may be realizing that, but still having a lot of fear surrounding it and a lot of heartache surrounding it. So um, there is definitely some some back and forth emotions for this person. So let's see, um, what do they want with you? So we've got the Knight of Cups. 
So there is a definite desire to make a love offer for swords is about healing, meditation, and it, and we do have the Knight of Wands here. So if in the past this person was like a player, manipulator, somebody that's hurt you, I feel like they want to heal that. Because um, the Knight of Cups can be seen as Casanova, Knight of Wands can be seen as a player. So with the Four of Swords coming right out in the middle of that, it's almost like they want to bring forth new communication that is m more of the better energy with this. Like this person rushes in to give a love offer, this person rush rushes in with passion, but they don't rush in with a bunch of third party bullshit. They come in to celebrate, to have fun with you, to communicate truth to you, and to commit with the Ten of Pentacles, to work together to build something solid, and to have balance. So I do feel like for a lot of you, this person is trying to heal um, so that they can approach the Empress. Like they may know that if they don't work for it, they're not going to be able to have it, and that could be causing a lot of anxiety for them. But I think they see you, you and your pre-Empress energy, and the only thing difference between Nine of Pentacles and Empress is having the masculine counterpart with her. So they may be wanting to now apologize to you and make some sort of offer where they're choosing love, where they're choosing to be the divine counterpart. They're choosing to have this soulmate connection with you. Yep, wanting, they want victory, okay? I'm just going to be honest, though. Some of you, they could just want victory in those energies, too, because it is here, so I'm not going to ignore the fact that those two energies are there. Um, I do feel like for a majority of them, they want to reconcile and have happiness with you. They want to explore the inner child, the passion of the inner child. They want to have fun with the inner child. They want to, you know, grow with you. But for some of them, it could be like just wanting to have victory and being able to connect with you sexually as the Casanova. But for a lot of them, they're ready to be the emperor. Okay, they've spent a lot of time in reflection thinking about this. Their passion is growing for you, and they want to have an ending of the separation. They want to rush back in as the Knight of Swords um, and opening up, up this Four of Pentacles, which could be a guarded heart, and get back into the foundation of the connection, which is, you know, love and support and joy, happiness, play, fun. So, yeah, they want a new beginning within love. All right, so let's see... What type of blockage there could be? I'm going to grab the other dick. So I get communication coming out. So there's obviously a blockage of communication here. Um, but I feel like you guys have a potential to heal, heal from this. We do have joyfulness. So again, that inner child energy is coming out where it's like you guys are not really having fun at this time. There's good fortune here too, so there could be a lack of abundance, or there's just like you feel like you've been unlucky with each other. There's been uh, difficult times in the past between the two of you. It's like you just haven't been lucky in love. But I do feel like there's transformation happening within this connection for you guys. Um, passion has been ignited between the two of you. And you have meaningful dreams as well. So this, like, with that Seven of Cups, I was saying, like, they were having that energy of, like, what do you call it? Um, like, illusions and daydreams. But I feel like they're also dreaming about you. But they could be taking meaning from the dreams that they're having and causing issues within that, okay? And I feel like the passion has been an issue in the past. So, like, maybe it was only, only about passion in the past, and so now you could be afraid that that's all they're going to want. But I do feel like there's been a transformation there. And I also have um, inner child and illumination coming out. So I feel like, again, this is the main thing. You know, this inner child needs to be illuminated. All of this would be healed if this inner child was transformed, the passion was ignited, um, if you weren't allowing your dreams and your things to be interpreted wrong, allowing yourselves to connect back with that good fortune and to just have joyful connections with each other and to communicate with each other in a clear way. So it just feels like there's a, um, there's a blockage within the inner child and there's, there's like a blockage within the communication and not allowing yourselves to illuminate that, you know, like to bring the sun into this, to bring the happiness into this, to choose to have that happiness and that joy within this connection. Yeah, look at You need to start planting the seeds of joy, of happiness. 
So the Seven of Pentacles is all about planting seeds, and the Nine of Cups is about happiness. So this cycle that you guys are in, this part of the story needs to come to an end. <laughs> Ten of Swords needs to come to an end. This guardedness needs to come to an end. You need to trust your intuition about your partnership, about your soulmate connection, so that you guys can get out of this energy of just like observing and watching and waiting and back into this place of unconditional love, allowing for the, like this Page of Cups offer to come in and to give you, you know, either an apology or just an offer, but it's going to require strength to overcome any heal from the past. Okay, so I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you, a lot of desire to communicate with you, uh, but things just need to get back into this energy of temperance, of balance, and allowing yourselves to have that joy sparked within you again so you can work together to build something solid within this um, connection. So what I'm going to do now is go over to Vimeo, and what we're going to see is um, maybe what they want to like what else they want to say to you, um, what could happen over the next four weeks, and the final outcome of this connection. You know, so um, if you'd like to follow me over there, there'll be a link down below. Um, thank you very much, Kristen, for this beautiful new deck. I love it. And thank you to all of you for all your commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please go ahead. Thank you to those who've been donating. You guys are awesome sauce. If anybody would like to donate, there's a link down below. If you'd like to send a deck, there's an Amazon wish list down below. Thank you to go all of those who do donate and do send decks and gifts and all of that. You guys are awesome sauce. Um, and I will be back to do um, air next, and then I'll do um, fire and water. And I may even break up over the next couple of weeks, like, get right down into, like, who Taurus's stuff is, who Capricorn stuff is, who's, you know, Libra, Aquarius, all of it. All right, so thank you very much, and I will get some pick -a piles out. The next one after these ones will be a pick -a pile, or I may do a pick -a pile in between um, some of these elements, but thank you guys. Link will be down below if you'd like to go further and see what's going to happen over the next few weeks and what's going to happen as a whole within this connection. Where's it going for you? Okay? In Mune, Namaste.